I am going to paint a slice of cantaloupe. There's some cad red, cadmium yellow. I'm gonna need a little bit of this for the green as well. So I'm gonna use the yellow to mix orange and to mix green. So I put two separate little piles. I don't want any green to get into my orange because that will muddy your color real quick. And I want my cantaloupe to be nice and vibrant. I have some titanium white. I'm probably gonna need more. And then I'll also use some phthalo blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush and make a little drawing to use as a guide. So I'm just gonna do it in orange. So I'm just kind of marking the edges of the cantaloupe so that I can get the angle correct, hopefully. Doesn't have to be perfect because fruit is very forgiving. You don't have to have the shape perfect. And so I just also want to mark the inner part of the cantaloupe and then the side plane. So here's the top plane and here's the side plane and the shadow. It's going to be about there. So when I'm painting the cantaloupe, I want to pay attention to the areas of light and dark within the orange hue. So I have to mix some darker orange and some lighter orange because there's a lot of shading and highlights, shadows and highlights, and that's what's going to help give our cantaloupe dimension. So in this part here, I'm noticing in this area, it's a darker value from the shadow. And it's also a bit of a darker value on the side plane here. A little bit in here. And then I'm adding more yellow to make more of a medium value. We have more medium orange up in this part here. Much lighter value, this, the light is shining up on this part of the cantaloupe. And there's a little bit of a shine here as well. I know I'm kind of jumping around with my values, but this is gonna be just my first layer. I'll make adjustments with the second layer. So I'm putting in more yellow and I'm gonna get this part blocked in, which is more of the medium value. Need some water for my brush. If your paint is not flowing, you wanna try to wet your brush a little bit to get it to the consistency where it will flow across the canvas the way that you like it.
And then I need it to be a little bit lighter in here so that I get the separation from the side and the top planes. I can even make the separation distinct by varying my brush strokes. I'm going to take a really small brush and just do the edge of the cantaloupe. Could have done this first. It doesn't matter either way. And I'll take a little bit of a lighter green. And that'll help to give my cantaloupe a little bit more form. It's a little bit darker up on the right here. So if you want to put in those spots that are a little bit darker, so you get some nice contrast. And this brush is too small for my shadows, so I'm going to grab another brush. And I'm going to Take some blue and some white and some burnt sienna. Actually, I'm going to use this for my background color. And then I'll do my shadow. So I'm going to use this um, phthalo blue with a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm just going to go around that area where my shadow will be. I like to do the background color after I have everything blocked in because if I needed to reshape my cantaloupe, if my drawing was way off, I could paint over the weird parts of the cantaloupe drawing with the background color. I just want to make sure I get all the little white spots of the canvas covered since I didn't tone my canvas to start with. I'm just going to wipe that paint on my paper towel. I'm going to mix a little red and a little blue, tiny bit of this lighter blue, just to lighten up the value a little bit, a little white. And I'm gonna put this purple shadow right along the edge of my cantaloupe. And then I'll add a little bit more white. I'm 
and just kind of mixed that in with the background a little bit. It wasn't really intentional, but it works. So I'm going to leave that. Could make it a tiny bit darker right up against the edge of the cantaloupe if you want. And I'm going to leave it like that. And I want a really clean brush again to go over to do a second layer on the flesh of the cantaloupe just for a few more details. So I hate the color of the shadow and I'm going to fix it which happens a lot when you're painting. Sometimes you just don't make the right choice right off the bat. So don't get frustrated because that is normal. I'm gonna make it similar to the background color, but push it a little bit more green. And I think that will just look nicer. Let me move my palette paper so you can see what I'm Mixing down here, so blue. And I'm just kind of testing these colors. Do a little bit of white. And I'm gonna clean my brush. I grab a little bit more phthalo blue. I added a little bit more white. And now I feel like I have to retouch the whole background. More often than not, I'm repainting whole parts of the painting. So don't feel frustrated when you have to do that. Well, I think that's a little better.
yeah, so it was worth it. I'm glad I did that. I'm cleaning my brush. I want to get the blue out so that I can mix some orange. And I'm going to just try to use this last little bit of clean palette. I'm going to grab some clean yellow. I don't want any green mixed in accidentally. And I just want to touch up the shadows and the highlights. So again, this was the darkest part of the cantaloupe in here. It's also a little dark on the side plane. It's a little bit lighter. I'll take some white here because it's a little bit lighter. So I'm just looking around for the spots of light and dark within the orange, and that's what I'm trying to capture. You don't need every single little detail painted in. You can just kind of squint your eyes and generalize. And some of this might be a little too dark, so I'm going to just put in a few spots to just lighten the value a tiny bit. And I feel like I'm just kind of fussing now with little details and I don't want to end up ruining anything. I feel like my cantaloupe slice looks dimensional. I can see the difference. I can see the highlights in the top plane and I can see the shadows. So I'm happy with that. A little bit of a shadow there. All right, my cantaloupe is finished. <laughs>